One of the great appeals of gaming is that sense of escapism from the real world each and every title brings, and RPGs perhaps offer this better than any other genre. But whilst franchises like Final Fantasy, The Elder Scrolls, and Kingdom Hearts have all very much established themselves as recognizable faces in the genre, with huge sales, passionate fan bases, and a plethora of releases, the industry is filled with other titles that slipped a bit more under the radar. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 obscure RPGs you need to play. Number 10. Anachronox Developed by Tom Hall and the Dallas-based Ion Storm Company, Anachronox is a sci-fi turn-based RPG game first released all the way back in 2001. The game revolves around Sylvester Sly Boots Bocelli, a struggling private investigator who decides to try his luck and find some work in the slums of Anachronox, an intergalactic steampunk-themed city home to shady figures and sinister secrets. Tom Hall and co looked to famous RPG games like Final Fantasy as well as sci-fi books and literature like Ender's Game for inspiration. And all of this influence can be seen in the game's three-person party structure and how players navigate through 3D futuristic environments. Anachronox had a notoriously long and troubled development, with its originally planned release date of mid to late 1998 being pushed back time after time due to a variety of technical issues and some seriously unfortunate events, such as one of the developers having their laptop stolen on the eve of E3. Anachronox is a hidden gem built entirely by individuals with a strong passion for RPGs, and whether it's in the various technical languages written specifically for the game, the vibrant visuals or goofy dialogue supplied by Hall himself, it's a passion that can be felt every time the game is played. Number 9. Reseteer, an item shop's tale Developed by the Japanese doujin makers Easy Game Station for PC in 2007, Reseteer An Item Shop's Tale is an indie RPG title that lets players experience the joys of capitalism up close and personal. Within the game, players take control of Reseteer, a young girl who's forced to run a small shop from her home by a fairy named Tia after her father had run up an unhealthy amount of debt before disappearing suddenly. Players take control of pretty much every aspect of how Reseteer's shop runs with haggling and bargaining over the price of buying and selling of goods being absolutely crucial to racking up the profit margin. But the game also features unique adventures into dungeons that can be used to find new items to sell. Reseteer became the first independently released Japanese game to be distributed by Steam. However, whilst critical reception was more than warm and sales of the game actually ended up surpassing initial expectations, roughly 500,000 copies shipped is nowhere near enough recognition for a game with the amount of charm this one has. Number 8. Lisa the Painful RPG Lisa the Painful might just be one of the most bizarre RPGs ever released for the PC market. Players take control of a bald middle-aged man named Brad Armstrong, while the story revolves around his quest to scale across the fictional wastelands of Olaf in search of his adoptive daughter. The game is primarily a 2D side-scrolling adventure across the overworld, with players able to create parties with the characters they find and make decisions that affect the game's mechanics for Brad's physical and mental well-being, as well as the state of his parties. Jorgensen cited timeless RPGs such as Earthbound as the main source of his inspiration inspiration, and this influence can be seen in the game's soundtrack and use of comic relief in what would otherwise be a pretty somber time. The game certainly received a healthy amount of warm reception following its release, even spawning a mini-universe of continuity thanks to some fan-made spin-off games. However, it's fair to say Lisa is still an RPG that's evaded most people's radars. Number 7. Alpha Protocol an action RPG developed by Obsidian Entertainment and published by Sega for PC, PS3, and Xbox 360 all the way back in May of 2010, Alpha Protocol is still one of the most underrated titles of its day. In the game, Alpha Protocol is a covert agency backed by the US government that carries out high-stakes operations across the world, with players taking control of one of its agents, Michael Thornton. The game's story revolves around players uncovering an international conspiracy to start a war, and it's very clear there's the influence of classic Bond-esque spy stories at work for Obsidian here. And Alpha Protocol has managed to establish itself as a leading light thanks to its unique customization options and vibrant reactivity to the actions and interactions players choose. Alpha Protocol is a game that many people consider too ambitious for its own good. Nevertheless, the game still boasts one of the most passionate cult followings in the entire entire RPG genre. And for fans of all things Bond or Born, it's absolutely worth a playthrough. 
Number 6. King's Bounty The Legend King's Bounty The Legend is a tactical RPG game based off the 1990 King's Bounty title released by New World Computing. Set in a vibrant, fantastical world, players take control of a majestic warrior working under the banner of the King of Darien. Players are given an army of their own to command, and whilst there are plenty of story missions given by the king, the game operates essentially with an open world, where they're free to choose where they go and what adventures they go on. Carterai made a point of blending together the best features and feel of the classic original with a brand spanking new interface and much more vibrant color palette. And the engine used for King's Bounty The Legend would be reused for a plethora of spin-offs and sequels in the years following its release. Number 5. Risen the first game in a series that is already three entries deep, Risen sees players take control of a nameless stowaway on a ship on its way to the fictional Faranga Island. A Mediterranean-themed world filled with rising mountain ranges, lush jungles, an active volcano, various human settlements, and a whole host of various tropical climates. The island has been historically dominated by ancient beings known as Titans, and players are able to explore most of Faranga from the get-go, using the game's impressive combat, leveling systems, and various other skills to help them traverse through the storylines they find and the obstacles they encounter. Risen 2 Dark Waters was released in August of 2010 and focuses much more on the naval warfare and brutality of the world of pirates, with the third game of the series, Risen 3 Titan Lords, being released for PC, Xbox 360, PS3, and PS4 in 2015. Number 4. Tokiden 2 Developed by Omega Force and published by Koei Tecmo back in 2016 for the PlayStation 3, though only in Japan, PlayStation 4 and Vita, Tokiden 2 is the action RPG sequel to 2013's Tokiden The Age of Demons. Set two years after the events of the first game, players take control of a Slayer warrior who's been awoken by the world being threatened by various supernatural baddies. Following its release, most fans and critics agreed that Tokiden 2 marked a massive improvement on the groundwork laid by the original. The introduction of an open world definitely helped sell the freedom needed in an RPG adventure, and also helped revamp the way in which combat with enemies is experienced, and how more compelling characters helped lead to a better collection of diverse missions. Destructoid awarded Tokiden 2 a 9 out of 10 rating, and Metacritic's score of 77 out of 100 marked an improvement for the game in comparison to its predecessor, so it's a wonder why very few people have taken the time to try it out for themselves. Number 3. Neo Scavenger Blurring the worlds of role-playing and survival games, Neo Scavenger was developed by former Bioware employee Daniel Furder and his company Blue Bottle Games back in 2014. The game is set in a post-apocalyptic world where players take control of a character named Philip Kindred and must keep him alive for as long as possible by scavenging the world for food, supplies, and shelter. As well as the environmental hazards present in the game, players will also find themselves up against bandits, scavengers, and local wildlife that will be alerted when a player is nearby. Neo Scavenger really separates itself from similar games due to its sheer amount of substance, with the attention to detail in every part of its world going a huge way in selling the RPG feel of things. Everything from detailed recipes for items to very real threats such as blood loss or shock is thrown in there, showcasing that no stone was left unturned by the studio. Number 2. Regalia of Men and Monarchs Regalia of Men and Monarchs was developed and released by Polish company Pixelated Milk in 2017 for the Nintendo Switch. It follows the story of Kay, a young man who discovers he's the heir to ruling the small kingdom of Ascalia. Kay's efforts to grow Escalia from a small settlement racked with debt to a blossoming empire acts as the game's storyline, and the freedom players have in the choices and directions they take act as Regalia's role-playing nature. The game is presented in a striking anime style and is filled to the brim with missions and adventures in various dungeons that players can go on, with these raids being designed in a choose-your-own-adventure and turn-based style of combat that help each and every playthrough feel different. The charm of the game with its quirky characters, unique art styles, and heavy emphasis on role-playing make this a really interesting indie pick for fans of the genre to pick up and play. With Regalia of Men and Monarchs allowing its players to tailor their roles between rampaging across the world in a series of turn-based fights and then heading back home and mingling with their subjects. Number 1. Greedfall 
Developed by Spiders, the studio not the scary Australian kind, and published by Focus Home Interactive for the 8th and 9th generation of consoles, Greedfall is an all-out action RPG set in a rich world that's half fantasy and half 17th century. The game's story revolves around a man named Desade, a noble that players take control of as he lands on the recently discovered tropical island of Tierfrede, a land of paradise that human settlers are attempting to colonize. The island is also home to various native peoples, and the way in which players deal with the various factions around the world will determine the story they tell and the interactions they have. The game certainly didn't boast the budget of other RPG titles of its time, but the love and passion put in by Spiders more than makes up for it, and Greedful as a result looks and runs seriously impressively throughout. Though the game was nominated for various awards including Best RPG, Best Game Setting and Best Artistic Game Design, Greedfall has still only sold just over a million hard copies or so as of the end of 2020 and is still outside plenty of gamers' radars. That's the end of our list, but do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other obscure RPGs you reckon more people need to play. As always, I've been Jess. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at JessMcDonald, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more gaming goodness.